hey everyone, it's Scott again with NewPortraitBiz.com and today is the official day that we're going to start this project. All right, and we're going to pick up where we left off with the last lesson, but this is the official start date of me creating uh, a piece of content, uh, a video, and uh, trying to get it ranked uh, for Eileen Bird of Me Photography. And I'm doing this kind of a, as a case study so you can see step by step how I'm going to go about doing it, like if I was doing it from scratch. All right, now this here, I, I'm, I pulled up Yahoo just because I wanted to show you the date. Okay, today is Monday, October 22nd, uh, 2012. All right, and that's why I did that. I just wanted to show you that. So the first thing that we need to do is create a video. Now for her, we're going to be going after, let me just go back a little bit. We're going to be going after Wedding Photography West Palm Beach because she told me that is one area that she would like to target. Well, when we went into the keyword tool, uh, you can see right here that for wedding photography, West Palm Beach, it gets 91 searches exact. Okay, that's the exact match. Now, if I go to broad, you're going to see that it's going to give me more. It's going to give me 480. So I will probably rank uh, or I'll technically have more people searching than 91, but 91 is like is like you know as direct as you can get like that's people typing in the exact wedding photography west palm beach not just photography west palm beach or you know west palm beach photography like you know this is exactly how it's being keyed in and the broad again if i go back to the broad you're going to notice it goes up higher because that will also get ranked like when i do a title wedding photography west palm beach you may pick up some searches for west palm beach photography all right um, and that's why they do it that way. But if I want to know exactly uh, how many I would get it for that exact term, that's what I'm going to do is just type in or uh, check the exact box. But again, I'm kind of recapping there a little bit because that was all done in the last lesson. But, but the first thing we need to do is get a video. Now, some of you may or may not have uh, any software on your computer. Now, if you have a Mac, you can use iMovie. Very simple to use. Um, or you can use what I'm using to record this video right now on my computer, a program called ScreenFlow. Um, now I will leave links below here uh, to these uh, services, uh, you know, or iMovie, which I have. Which you, you know, again, if you have it on your computer, you can use that. But I wanted to go here to Animoto, and the reason why is because number one, you can create 30-second videos, 30, 35-second videos for free, um, in pretty good quality, and um, it gives you a bunch of templates to use, and it's super, super simple. Now, if you wanted to upgrade, it's like two dollars and fifty cents a month or $5 a month if you wanted to go month to month. I think at $2.50 is for like a yearly subscription, but it comes out to like 30 bucks a year. And you save money for doing it for a full year. But anyway, um, it's really inexpensive, but you can do it for free. I'm gonna be doing it for free today just to kind of show you how this thing works and then also um, that we can just take a short little video and get it ranked. All right, so I've already did some of the work. The first thing is, is the style. You can go in here to the style and, uh, and obviously you got to sign up for a free account. So I'm not going to go through that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but right here, there's uh, all of these templates that they have to choose from. And you would just click on one and you can even preview it here. If you want to just hover over here and click uh, preview, it'll pull up a little preview window and it'll show you a little preview. All right, so you get the idea. Pretty cool, right? Um, now, I wouldn't use the fall one unless I'm doing a fall wedding or something like that, but in this case, I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using this one right here, all right, but you can go through and, and see all these, and some of these have a pro label on it, and that means it's for a pro. You have to be a pro member, um, but all of these you can use. Um, I've tried a few of them. They're pretty good, uh, but this one here is the one I'm going to be using, all right, so that's the one I have selected already right here, and then just X off of that. Okay, so that's the one. The music now is going to pretty much, I think for the free one, it, it pre-selects it for you because if I click on it and if I wanted to go in here under different ones, if I click on this, it says there's currently no songs in this library. I think that's because it's in a free account. Uh, but this one, this uh, instrumental works actually pretty well. But if you are a paid version, you would get uh, options in here and you can upload a song um, here. Even if I click on that, it will let me upload a song. So you can do that. But be careful with... Uh, you know, uh, uploading commercial stuff. You want to just use royalty-free stuff, and all the stuff in their libraries is uh, royalty-free. All right, and then next comes pictures. So then from here, I would just go ahead and click on that, and I can even go to my Facebook page, my Flickr, Photo Bucket, any of these, and grab some images, or I can just upload them, and that's kind of what I did here. I just uploaded these. You would click on one, and then click open. And then it's going to basically upload it. It says I've run out of space because I've already uploaded too many. So now it's going down into here. This is kind of like my queue. 
Uh, let me click off of that. So if I wanted to get rid of one of these slides, let's say I could just drag it down here and then drag this one up here. That's how simple it is. I mean, it's like drag and drop. So here we go. Let me just put that back because I think I had that one there. Yeah. And the other thing you can do is add some text. And that's what I did right here. So you would just add a text block. It's, a, it's like an image block. And that's all that this is here. You just add text and then this comes up. And then you can go in here and you can edit it. And it's limited to characters. So here I can only use, well, let me take that out and see, uh, 22 characters. And then down here, I can only use, uh, let's see, 30 characters. All right, so you're limited to characters, um, but that's fine. Or you can do what I did down here, and I just created a slide um, with the details on it that I wanted. So I did a text slide, and then I did a, a regular slide I created here, uh, like in Photoshop. You can just do it there or any. Um, image editing software. All right, but that's basically it. So I just took some of her pictures um, that she gave me permission to use, and just at the end, all I'm doing is asking for them to call us. I just say call for details, and then I give the phone number, and I just say professional wedding photography by me photography. All right, now you can do all different types of call to action, and what I'm going to also do is I'm going to show you in the description how you're going to put your either your website or your phone number so they can see it instantly so it doesn't get covered up in the description box. It's another important thing. Then what you can do is you can just preview the video right here, and then it's going to generate a low resolution preview. Now this resolu this low resolution uh, preview is really really low. It looks like garbage and you're going to think it's bad, um, but trust me, it's not. Just It's just giving you a quick render. Um, so what I'm going to do is just skip and produce and then from here what you want to do is you want to also title this. And I already did one because I was doing a test to make sure that everything worked for us. So I'm just going to say, um, I'm going to do uh, 2012. No one's going to really see that but me. I can put the date and the description in there. I'm going to leave them blank. And you can see here how my preview came up. And you can see the images is very blurry and stuff because it's being rendered, but it's not that bad. But anyway, so I can either continue editing or I can produce. So I'm just going to produce it. And then from there, it's going to ask me to wait, and then it's going to render this, uh, this particular slideshow. All right. So what we'll do is we'll let that render and then uh, come over here. Now you're going to see this in here. It's still not going to be 100%. It's kind of like YouTube. If you uh, upload, if you've ever uploaded anything to YouTube, sometimes when it first goes up there, it's still rendering. So it gives you a really, uh, really bad version. Um, so you know the the page isn't blank, um, but it will improve. And uh, this one does improve. So I mean, you can see it's the same one that we just looked at because it isn't done rendering. So we'll give that a little bit. But now what I want to do is get to the part of actually uploading this. So with that being said, I think I'm going to cut this video off here. We'll pick up in another video. So this way here you can see exactly how we're going to upload the video and then how we're going to you know, add our keywords in there and how we're going to optimize it. So this way here we can hopefully get ranked in Google. So that's going to wrap up this lesson. I would first start off, go and get some images together, create your slideshow and then uh, get this part done, and then from there you can pick up in the next lesson. All right, so that's it. I'll talk to you later. Good luck.